Exercise 3.3 question number 4. Determine k and solve this equation if one of its roots is twice the sum of the other two roots. So I'll explain what is given here. One root is twice the sum of the other two roots. It means you have to add two roots and multiply by two you will get the third root. See here the solution let alpha beta comma 2 into alpha plus beta. So when you add the two roots and multiply by 2 you will get the third roots and that, that is what the condition given here. Right? See one of the roots is twice the sum of the other two roots. Any answer? Right. Now we will proceed, proceed with the same uh, method. Write the equation divide by 2. Right? Now we have to compare with the Vieta's equation which is x cube minus sigma 1 x square plus sigma 2 x minus sigma 3 which is equal to 0. Now uh, minus sigma 1 is equal to minus 3 so sigma 1 is equal to 3. So sigma 1 is nothing but sum of the roots. So what are the roots? Alpha, beta, 2 into alpha plus beta. So alpha plus beta plus 2 into alpha plus beta, it's totally 3 into alpha plus beta, which is equal to 3. 3 and 3 cancel. Alpha plus beta is equal to 1. Right? Now, you know the third root. Third root is nothing but 2 into alpha plus beta. We found the value of alpha plus beta is 1. So, 2 into 1. 2 into 1 is equal to 2. So, that, that therefore, the third root is nothing but 2. Now, what we are going to do is, since the root is 2, this root will satisfy the equation, which is already known to us. So, I am going to substitute the value of these 2 in the given equation, right? So, this is the equation, so let us show the equation. So, this is the equation. So, in the place of x, I am going to substitute 2, right? So, I will show that. So, substituting 2 here, it is 2 cube which is 8 and 2 square which is 4 and 2. So 2 into 8, 16, 6 into 4, 24, 3 into 2, 6 plus k is equal to 0. So minus 24 plus 22 is minus 2 and take the 2 that side, k is equal to 2. Now we have found the value of k, right? Now this is the equation which is given here. Now we have found the third root is nothing but 2. So we can take x minus 2 as a factor. This remaining factor how to found? I already taught you in the previous problems. Anyhow I will explain once again. So I have to take this term as 2x square. Then only x into 2x square will become 2x cube. The second term is still unknown so plus bx. And third term supposed to be taken as minus 1. Then only minus 2 into minus 1 is 2. Right. Now we have to equate the x term on both the sides. So equating x term on both the sides. And how to equate? I have given here. x into minus 1 is minus x. So I have taken minus 1. Minus 2 into px is minus px. So I have taken my, uh, sorry, minus 2 into px is minus 2px. So I have taken minus 2p. And coefficient of x term here is 3. So that is equal to 3. Now bring this 3 this side. So it becomes minus 4 and minus 2p to the other side. So minus 2p is equal to minus 4. p is equal to minus 2. Now substitute this minus 2 here. And you have got this particular equation in this form. We cannot solve this equation using the tree method. So I have used the formula method. And you know this is the formula. So a is equal to 2 and B is equal to minus 2 and C is equal to minus 1. In substituting here, I have got this term. No. So, uh, uh, minus 4, 4 minus 4 into 2 into minus 1. So, 4 plus 8. So, 4 plus 8 is nothing but root 12. So, root 12 can be written as 2 into root 3. And taking 2 from the numerator common outside and cancelling with the denominator, it becomes 1 plus or minus root 3 by 2. So here we have got two roots. Already we have got a root 2. 
so here also two roots so so totally three roots so the roots are 2 comma 1 plus or minus root 3 by 2 thank you